Hello there, good morning. A judge is expected to rule later on whether the UK government's veto on Holyrood's gender reform bill will be allowed to stand. Legislation which would make it easier. Staying with politics and the Scottish Government held a special cabinet meeting last night on how to tackle a black hole in public finances. Ministers have described this budget, which it's announcing in less than a fortnight, as the most challenging to... Do you support the blanket ban on drinking alcohol on trains and in stations? That's what ScotRail is currently asking its customers. The t and elsewhere this morning, the redevelopment of Glasgow's theatre in the Gorbals is finally making good progress. The time to And that takes us to your weather forecast now with Gillian Smart. And that's all for the moment, but Gillian and myself will be back with another update for you in around half an hour's time. So I do hope that you can join us then. Bye bye for now. Hello there, good morning. A judge is expected to rule later on whether the UK government's veto on Holyrood's gender reform bill will be allowed to stand. Legislation which would make it... Staying with politics now and the Scottish Government held a special cabinet meeting last night on how to tackle a black hole in public finances. Ministers have described this budget, which it's announcing in less than a fortnight, as the most... Now, do you support the blanket ban on drinking alcohol on trains and in stations? That's what Scott Rail is now asking its customers. The t and lastly this morning, the redevelopment of Glasgow's theatre in the Gorbals is finally making good progress. The timetable for the... Let's take a look at your weather forecast now. And Gillian is in the studio with us. Good morning. Good morning, Sarah. It's looking pretty unsettled. Okay, Shelley, and thank you very much for the update. And that's all from us for the moment, but we will be back in half an hour. See you then. Bye-bye. Hello there. Good afternoon. The UK government has won a legal challenge by the Scottish government over its controversial block of gender reform laws here in Scotland. The legislation making it easier for people to change their legally recognised sex was passed by the Scottish Parliament last year. But the UK government blocked it from becoming law. Now, our political correspondent, Phil Sim, is with us. Phil, can you talk us through exactly what's been decided here? Scott Rail is asking customers if they support ending the blanket ban on drinking alcohol on its services amid a claim it's unworkable. It was introduced as a temporary measure during the pandemic. Now, the decision is ultimately for ministers rather than for Scott Rail. Our news correspondent, Jamie McIver, is at Glasgow Queen Street Station for us this lunchtime. And Jamie, why are they looking at the issue of this ban now? A man and a woman have been arrested and charged after a pro-Palestinian protest outside a Labour dinner which Keir Starmer, Sir Keir Starmer attended in Glasgow last night. Anyway. Elsewhere, golfer Robert McIntyre returned to his hometown of Oban today with the Ryder Cup, a trophy he helped win for Europe against the United States in Rome. Here. Now, pantos have always proved popular with families, especially at this time of year. But for children with additional needs, it can all be a bit overwhelming. Edinburgh was the first place in Scotland to introduce relaxed performances to suit all kinds of sensory needs back in 2012. And that tradition continues, as Richard Forbes reports. Hey, lovely. And that takes us into your weather forecast now. And Joy Dunlop is in the studio. Good afternoon. Good forecast. OK, Joy, thank you very much for the update. And that's all from us here this lunchtime, but Sally Magnuson will be back with Report in Scotland this evening. Bye-bye for now.